What's up guys, it is ED, and in this video I'm going to be reading some comments from my um, Why You Should Go Vegan in 3 Minutes video, which will be linked in the description, I made it like a month ago, and I haven't really wrote nothing for this, I haven't really wrote anything for this video, so uh, this is all just going to be off the top of my head, and yeah, so random guy commented, when you say value is what is most valuable, what does that mean? Okay, so when I say value is what is most valuable, I'm just, you know, speaking of fact um, of the matter which is that you know what we value is you know basically value itself which is circular but you know or you know what's value is values what is most valuable yes it's circular but there's no issue with that what I mean by this is when I say 2 plus 2 equals 4 because 4 equals 2 plus 2 sure that's circular but is there a problem with it does it actually matter that it's circular no because it's fucking true it's a you know it's a, it's a fact that 4 equals 2 plus 2, and 2 plus 2 equals 4, so why does it matter if I use that, you know, reasoning? Uh, it's still true that 2 plus 2 equals 4, and when you think about it like that, you know, basically all math is fucking circular. And another, you know, problem people have is, like, they don't understand that literally anything can be circular if you just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. So, not everything is circular. Um, you know, something like this is, just like, you know, 4 equals 2 plus 2 is circular. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, and, you know, I think it's important to not mistake um, non-circular arguments for circular arguments by just repeating it over and over, which I've seen fucking morons do on Discord. And what or who is this value indexed to? It's to literally anyone who can value, right? Which is basically all, you know, sentient beings. And if you can't value, I wouldn't really say you're intrinsically valuable, only extrinsically valuable by others who value you. And I would only value them because doing that would be conducive to the other people's values, which is valuable in the first place, right? So I want to tackle you know, a, I think this is like the main objection to my video and my, you know, you know, objective case for veganism. And I think the main objection is, wait a minute, uh, other values isn't necessarily what's valuable. It's just what I value, right? So this is, to say this, you're rejecting the premise that a value is what is most valuable. You have to accept this premise to even make, you know, the proposition that what is most valuable is just what you value, right? So, um, because what you're valuing is value itself, right? So you yourself think that value is what is most valuable, right? All right, then you're making a categorical error to your own worldview by putting value, uh, you know, in the category of what's most valuable. You should be putting uh, what you value in the category of what's most valuable. And if value isn't in the category, isn't in the category of you know what's most valuable, then it just completely fucking falls in of itself. Because if value isn't in the category isn't in the category of what's most valuable, how is your value in the category of what's most valuable? You know, it's completely contradictory, it doesn't make any sense, and, you know, this is why I think these arguments just fall flat on their face. You cannot say, oh, what I value is what is most valuable, while valuing value itself, right? Um, that is like saying, oh, wait, I value all women, but I don't value your mom. I don't value your girlfriend, so I'm going to go rape them. It doesn't make any fucking sense. You're simply making a categorical error by putting all women in the category of value if you're then going to turn around and fucking, uh, you know, rape a woman. And, you know, someone might say I'm strawmanning him by saying that he puts all, you know, value in the category of value. No, that's an undeniable fact that you put value in the category of value because that's what fucking value is. And now I want to talk about, you know, a comment someone left that I replied to and everything. And I'm just going to read out the whole, you know, argument because I think there's some important lessons to be learned from this. So, Phil the Logician uh, commented and he said, When a vegan goes to the grocery store for a vegan snack and gives money to a company that causes animal suffering and harm from industry practices as a result of consumer demand, such as but not limited to, Animal deaths from field clearance, animal deaths from crop maintenance, animal deaths from supply gathering to package uh, said snack, animal deaths from further recombinant uh, DNA biotechnological research to produce improved snacks, and animal deaths from transportation of products of snack. How does the vegan justify this unnecessary harm? 
So I said, although I do think industry deaths need to be looked at, I'd argue more good comes from supporting vegan options and non-vegan companies than bad because as more people buy the vegan product, the more the company is incentivized to make more vegan products, which in turn has greater consequences over time. And, you know, this um, applies to non to, you know, fully vegan uh, companies as well because, you know, uh, whether it be a non-vegan company selling vegan products or a vegan company selling vegan products, if you are buying this, you know, vegan product, that is incentivized them to you know make more vegan products which in turn you know maybe more people will come see it um, you know more accessible you know more widespread so more people will get it more people will understand wow um, there are you know good you know vegan options so then they'll buy vegan options go vegan you know and overall the net well-being will you know uh, be increased or probably be increased um, and I said, as for crop deaths, I deploy all implies can, and if you don't have the money and such to grow a garden, buying food from a grocery store is essentially the next best thing. Vegans could live in the woods, but I'd argue that actually disadvantage animals because we need to be uh, within the institution if we want to change it. And we can't do that if we exclude ourselves, especially if we're prescribing a primalist lifestyle onto others. It'd be ridiculously uncompelling. And then he says, I would like a straightforward answer. You jumped to the gun and went on to primitive lifestyles and what is the next best thing and what produces greater consequences please answer the question i asked um i did answer it i answered it with um well one on implies can so you know if you're saying well you you know make harm and everything okay can i really do much different without you know uh doing things that will fucking question my rationality make it so i can't even access morality in the first place and in which case you can't even blame me uh, for, you know, not acting in a moral manner or not acting in a manner that is concerned with morality. Or, um, when you're talking about, you know, you know, what is the justification of buying this snack, um, you know, just specifically, it's, well, it would, you know, increase the overall well-being. Um, because, you know, from supply and demand, uh, you know, capitalism, you know, like I just described. So he says, what is the justification for a vegan when buying a snack unnecessarily? When buying that snack would cause an increase in consumer demand, which would lead to animal suffering as a result of industry practices. And I said, well, you just answered your own question. The justification is the consumer demand for vegan products, which I find immoral due to the overall well-being gained from there being more vegan products. So, yes. Um... Then he replied to me and said, interesting, if I'm not mistaken, unnecessary harm that comes from industry uh, is justified because the industry creates more overall well-being. Suppose I own a, own a business that allows rich people to pay a price to torture slash kill animals I have in stock. However, all the profit I gain is used to support orphanages, hom homeless shelters, I, I don't even know what I was just about to say, and other support groups around the world. Overall, there is more well-being generated. Does that mean my business should be allowed to, to continue? If you believe that is not a fair analogy, pre please provide uh, the reasons as to why it is non-equivalent. So I said... I do not think that's a fair analogy because the rich people could have donated the money directly towards the charities. The same could not be said in increasing demand for vegan products at a non-vegan company. If I donated money towards liberating animals, that does not have the same effect as the mass shift in non-vegan to vegan products that the money towards the vegan product could cause. Yes, in your hypothetical, the well-being is increased, but I'd argue the means in which the well-being increased was unnecessary. So in short, no, the business should not be allowed to continue. So, yeah, um, I don't think I, he said really anything else of substance or whatever, but yeah, anyway, that's the end of the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the Discord, all that sort of shit, and yeah, have a nice day or night, everybody.